Hi, in this video we're taking a look at the Donkey F camera bag. It's a small shoulder camera bag and it's been a bag that I've used for a number of years ever since I used to shoot Leica M's and you know small rangefinder cameras. Uh, this bag was pretty much my main camera bag and yet it's still a holdover now that I shoot mostly DSLR work. Uh, this still fits my DSLR in probably one or two lenses so I still use it and I still like it. Again it's the Donkey F803. It comes in this color which is black as well as an olive drab, uh, sand, blue, and also a waxware, which is a brown waxware is uh, where the canvas actually has wax embedded into it to make it more waterproof. Didn't really like that version, I've tried it, but I found the wax kind of got on your hands and got on stuff, so I didn't like that. But this is the one in black, and as you can see, it's a relatively small bag. Fits on the shoulder, um, you know, just like that, or you can also wear it diagonally over your shoulder like this. and. Uh, fits really well and it's a good tried and true bag that uh, is relatively inexpensive and I think a lot of people swear by this bag uh, just because also it's nondescript it's got a nondescript look to it as you can see it just doesn't look like uh, anything really special and that's important when you're out shooting you're not calling attention to yourself using this bag you know this bag doesn't scream expensive camera gear or anything like that it just looks like a nondescript messenger bag or something like that so that's one of the real pluses on this bag uh, on the back, it has a nice full-length pocket here, which can fit an iPad, um, maybe even a MacBook Air, as well as you know magazines, papers, uh, anything you want to put back here, you know sunglasses in a case, things like that. So that's really handy. It's got a nice um, handle right here on top, so if you want to carry it like a briefcase, you certainly can, and it makes it easier for grabbing and going, uh, you know, when you're getting out of a vehicle or whatever too. Then on the top uh, flap. It's got two small zipper pockets right here, which is perfect for batteries, business cards, film rolls, things of that nature. And then it's got one latch here. It's got a metal latch uh, that opens up the top flap. Now I've heard some complaints about this metal latch um, because if you're not careful, it can hit your equipment and stuff if you, if you, you know, um, if, if you ram it into your equipment. Uh, but I've never had a problem in just being aware that it's there helps a lot. Um, so you're a little bit more careful with it, but that is something to consider about this bag because this latch is metal and it can do some damage to your equipment if you're not careful. Now on the inside main compartment of this bag, as you can see, it's got a little insert which comes with it. So this insert is held in by Velcro. This can be taken completely out if you want. And as you can see, it's got, using the insert, you have three main comp compartments basically. So you have room for a camera. I can fit my DSLR in here as well as two lenses. Uh, one in each compartment. And if you take this out, you have a little bit more space for a DSLR with a longer lens, for instance. But then you can't put another lens in there as well because you don't have uh, the insert you know, to protect it. Works fairly well. Again, it's a little bit of a tight fit when uh, I'm trying to transport my DSLR, maybe uh, two lenses, but it's perfect for a uh, rangefinder like a Leica M or Fuji X100 uh, system. I still do use this with my DSLR, however, when I want to travel light and I'm just using a DSLR with a prime or a DSLR with a prime and maybe another prime as an, as an extra. Um, this works perfectly well for that. And then it has two Velcro pockets right here in the front, uh, which kind of expand. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there, CF cards and um, you know your iPhone and things like that. So in general, uh, it's a really good bag that I recommend for the price. It's not real expensive. And uh, I think a lot of people swear by this just because it's sort of a workhorse type bag and it doesn't really look like anything special like some of the other bags out there like for instance Billingham bags which incidentally are like double the cost of these. Billingham bags are very nice, they're made in England, however um, they just look a lot more fancy and you kind of I think draw more attention to yourself whereas with a bag like this it just looks like almost like a nothing bag, just like a business bag or a messenger bag and you don't call any attention to yourself when you're walking around the streets with your expensive camera gear so that's something to consider. Again, this has been a look at the Donke F803 camera satchel, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. See you in my next video.